Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church in McGuanagall for Wednesday, May 27th. We've heard that a few have not been receiving emails from the church office. They have been being sent every day, so we're looking into that. Uh, one uh, quick fix uh, is you can check your spam or your junk folder to see if somehow the messages are getting left there. Also, to know that these devotions, uh, you can find them daily on our YouTube channel, on our website, or also on our Facebook page. So uh, you can subscribe on, on YouTube, and then they just pop up for you um, daily. So that might be an answer if you're not getting them via the email. So, um, But we'll continue with morning prayer um, with the morning responses. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We confess together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. The Almighty God, <clears throat> have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Yesterday, we focused on John 17, the first five verses. Again, this is Jesus' high priestly prayer, the prayer that he offers up to his Father on our behalf, the night of his betrayal. Yesterday we focused on the glory of the Son and the glory of the Father, that they would be made known through that which was coming, his death and resurrection, that he would be made known to you and to me, that we would have this eternal life, which is found in Jesus Christ alone. Today the prayer continues, verse 6, Jesus prays, I have manifested, I have made evident, made known, your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. For I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them, and have come to know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I'm praying for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those whom you've given me, for they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you, Holy Father. Keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. The Word of the Lord. How do you describe yourself, child of God, heir of eternal life? Jesus in this prayer gives you another way to describe yourself. You know that you are a treasured possession of him. And how is this, this, this little interplay between the Son and the Father, that the Father entrusts you to the Son, and now the Son entrusts you back to the Father, that you are truly a chosen people, a royal priest and a holy nation of people belonging to God, you are a treasure possession of him. And Jesus now prays on your behalf, you who have received him in truth. You have received him in faith. What a comfort to stick in your ears this morning. He is praying for you. What does that prayer sound like? We read later on that this prayer is not that you would be taken out of this world, but that you would be kept safe in this world. His prayer is that you and I, that the Holy Christian Church, would be as close together as the Father and the Son, that there would be a true unity there based on truth. His prayer is that he, Jesus, would be glorified in you. If Jesus is glorified, we heard yesterday, on the cross of Calvary, if he is made known, that's where you find Christ. 
What does he mean then when he says that he wants to be glorified in you? That he wants to be known in you, um, in your lives, to others. That, that others would see in you, in me, something called the love of Christ. Something called his mercy and his compassion. Something that you and I fail at every day. We don't face this alone. I'm spending some time with some confirmation um, students and, and parents right now as they gear up for their confirmation next Sunday um, afternoon. And, and two of the promises the confirmands make, of course, is I do and I ask God to help me recognizing a strength that comes from him alone. John 17 gives us a little more insight into that, this world that we face, not on our own. We face it with the Son, praying on our behalf, that the Holy Spirit, I'm sorry, that the Holy Father would keep you and me in the name of Christ. There is comfort for us in a Son and a Father who love us this much, and a Holy Spirit has brought us to trust in these truths. And out of all the things that Jesus could think about the night before he died, he had you in mind. And of course then, this very morning, that's no less true, that you are still in his heart and mind, that he still intercedes for the Father on your behalf, pleading your case, pleading his righteousness for you, that you walk about this day in nothing other than his righteousness, his forgiveness, and with this prayer on your lips, that you would glorify him in thoughts and words and actions. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, King of glory, on this day you ascended far above the heavens, and at God's right hand you rule the nations. Leave us not alone, we pray, but grant us a spirit of truth, that at your command and by your power we may be your witnesses in all the world. We live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin, nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Oh, 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 man.